Cops respond to call hearing only silence on phone, find toddler and unconscious woman at home. A 911 operator answers an emergency call and hears nothing except a weak, fuzzy sound on the other end of the line. Instead of dismissing it as unimportant, he notifies the cops, who arrive at the house and discover a woman in dire straits along with her toddler. 911, what's your emergency? asked the dispatcher. There was no response on the other end of the line. Am I audible? Can you tell me what's going on? Again, there was no response. The dispatcher was ready to hang up when he heard a faint sound on the line. He located the address, and it wasn't far. Stacy Adams, 21 ST Street, can you tell me what's going on? Are you in danger? I have your address right here in front of me, he added, but no one responded. The dispatcher didn't hang up, thinking the call was important and the caller may be in danger, and he tried to draw hints about what the call was about. Um, if you can't talk, can you at least offer me a hint, he asked. There's no need to be concerned, a unit is on its way. I did dial 911, but I didn't press the call button, it was all a blur. But there was no response again this time, only a faint sound. Concerned about the severity of the situation, he remained on the line until the authorities arrived at the address. By chance, the unit closest to the address was manned by Officer Matthews and her partner Officer Beckham. The cops knocked on the door as soon as they arrived, but there was no answer. I guess we'll have to break the door, Officer Beckham suggested. Clothes are hanging in the backyard, and the home lights are turned on. The house isn't deserted. All right then, Officer Matthews nodded, and the two officers broke open the door. Hello. Is anyone home? Officer Matthews called out as they entered, and suddenly they heard a sound from the upstairs room. Stay alert. Someone's there. The two officers carefully ascended the stairs to the upstairs room, where they discovered a toddler child playing with a phone in his hands. Jesus. A kid. They gently entered the room, looking for an intruder, and received the shock of their lives when they got closer to the crib. A woman was lying unconscious on the floor, and the child was playing beside her with her phone. She's alive, Officer Matthews said, checking her pulse. Call the ambulance. After calling the paramedics, Officer Beckham scooped the toddler in his arms while Officer Matthews tried to stir the woman up. She got some water from the kitchen, then made her lie down on the bed and splashed some water on her face. Ma'am, are you okay? She asked as she saw the woman's eyes move a little. Eventually, the woman opened her eyes. The paramedics thankfully arrived on the scene by then and checked on her. It turns out she had collapsed due to low blood pressure and stress. They reminded her to take her medications on time before leaving. My husband, the woman told the officers once the paramedics had left. I had told him I wasn't feeling well in the morning, yet he just left me alone. I am so tired of everything, officers, this marriage, uh, never mind. I am so glad you two came here on time. But I don't know how the call went through. I didn't press the call button. Well, someone did, Officer Beckham said, gently rocking the toddler in his arms. Probably your little one. Oh God, was it Aiden, the woman cried. I did dial 911, but I don't remember what happened after that. It was all a blur. It was time to feed Aiden, so I came to the room, and I guess I fainted after that. I think Aiden pressed the button while playing with the phone. Perhaps that's why the dispatcher didn't pick up on anything crucial on the call, Officer Matthews speculated. Are you sure you're all right now? Please let us know if you require any help. I am a mother too, and I know looking after children is no joke. That's really considerate of you, officers, the woman said. I'm Stella, by the way. I guess I'll manage from here. Once again, thank you for saving my life. I appreciate your assistance. You should thank your son, ma'am. If he didn't press the button, we would have never known, Officer Beckham said. And yeah, one more thing, if relationships start giving us pain, it's better to step out of it rather than try to make it work. Take care. After the officers left, Stella burst into tears. It was true her relationship with her husband was just giving her pain. He neither cared for her nor their son. What was the point in even staying together? She hadn't told the officers the whole story, but she was over her husband long ago. She tolerated him because she didn't want Aiden to grow up without a father. But that day made Stella realize that there was no point in continuing like that. 
we're getting a divorce, she told her husband when he returned home. He was still buzzed from the party with his buddies, and he didn't take Stella seriously. Come on, babe, he managed to slur. You can't be serious. Where will you go if you leave me, huh? To your parents. They can never look after you and Aiden. You wanna die of poverty, huh? Well, Harry, she shot back. It's not like being with you is any good either. My son deserves a better life. So keep doing your parties, get-togethers, and drinking in broad daylight while not working and living off from your savings, but I am done with you. I hope we never meet again. That day, Stella left her husband and never returned to him. True, her parents were not wealthy enough to take good care of her and Aiden, but she had people with her who cared, so slowly, with their support, her life started changing for the better, and she was able to get a job and stand on her feet. Ten years had passed since that day, and Stella's life only changed for the better. She never kept anything from her son, who is still too young to understand everything. But he knows what his mother did was for their own good. What can we learn from this story? If a relationship becomes toxic, step out of it right away. Stella's husband was a reckless man who didn't have a job and squandered their savings on his carefree lifestyle. After receiving no support from him when she needed it, Stella took the hard step and got out of the relationship. Being in public service is tough, and these workers deserve to be appreciated more. Thanks to the vigilance of the 911 operator and officer Beckham and Matthews, Stella received assistance on time and was out of danger. Besides, Officer Beckham's suggestion about relationships made her think about things she was ignoring to make her marriage work. And finally, she could step out of the toxicity.